and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Reanimator in Best of One, kicking off our Best of One decks in Best of One Day Monday. That's what we got four more decks we're playing today. We had some success with Simic Ramp just a little bit ago. Hawkeye decided to come join us here also. Uh, but this deck, this is our second time playing this one. Um, if you missed this video before, you know, hopefully you check that video also out on YouTube. We played it in best of three before, and so we still have the sideboard that we played. So for those of y'all that like to play best of three, there is a sideboard here for you. But we're just going to be doing best of one today, because not only is it Monday where we're doing best of one, but as y'all know, um, this is a, the last stream, hopefully, as long as everything goes right, with this computer. Uh, the last part that I need for the new computer comes in tomorrow. I'll be taking tomorrow off building it. And hopefully on Wednesday have a brand new computer and lag problems will be gone. Um, the lag problems are a little bit less in the best of one. So we're just going to be going with best of one for our, our last four decks of the day. And we'll be playing seven games with each deck. All right, but this deck, if you haven't seen this before, now getting back to our deck. This is all about Agent of Treachery and just being so treacherous and trying to steal all of our opponent's stuff. Probably not all of their stuff, but, you know, steal a lot of their stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're trying to play Agent of Treachery from our graveyard. We're using Blood for Bones and Bond Revival to get Agent of Treachery into play early. Then we can use Quasi-Duplicate to counter it, or more likely we use Charming Prince to flicker it. So we're, we're going Charming Prince, Agent of Treachery, trying to flicker um, the Agent of Treacheries. That's really what we're all about. Um, we can use Kenrith's last ability to reanimate as well bring it back that way too and then we have a we have like two other big reanimation targets with one scholar of the ages one dracu seth you know sometimes we'll have the dracu seth bond revival combo that's not really what our deck's built around it's really built around agent of treachery <clears throat> and flickering it and stealing our opponent's stuff so pretty mean deck here um but yeah that's what we got Let's play some games. We're just going to go play over in Ranked. So Standard Ranked, Esper Reanimator. Let's play some games, see how this does. Okay. Let's update our record over here. We're now playing this deck. And we're 0-0. All right, Hawkeye, you gonna help us out? So we have one Cavalier of Night that's triple black. Nothing else um, besides like Agent of Treachery and that kind of stuff. No nothing else really costs double, double blue or double black. You know, really just this quasi-duplicate. So what I'm going to do here... Because I want to make sure that we can play a 3-drop on turn 3. <clears throat> so I'm going to just Fable Passage for Island. That's basically kind of seeing what, what we want to get there. So we'll Fable Passage for Island, have Island Swamp, Thought Erasure, and then we can shock in the Hallowed Fountain to play Tomebound Lynch. No, I wouldn't say necessarily that our deck just loses to Flash. I mean, it's it's magic. Things happen. Oh my gosh, computer, come on. We just started a game. <laughs> why, why do you have to be doing this? Hmm... I would like to draw land. It's a couple of good four drops. Kind of hope my opponent doesn't draw land. I 
All right, good. We drew two lands there. I can I put the I put the Charming Prince over in the graveyard because I can just play Soren and then immediately reanimate the Charming Prince here. So I can like basically get Soren into play. Huh. They're just willing to make that attack? That dealt me zero damage. Still, that's a pretty sketchy attack. <clears throat> Ugh. Attack. Alright, well, I'll just get back to the Tonebound Lich. I will have revenge for House Marco. Was it better to bond a revival the Dracuseth or the Agent of Treachery? If I take if I go Agent of Treachery. If I go Agent of Treachery, then I can quasi duplicate. Oh, I need to get basic island, didn't I? So I could double double duplicate it. But oh well. I think we just get Dracuseth, honestly. Even though Agent of Treachery is pretty cool. Uh, Drachy Seth, burning up my frames. It's burning up everything. Burning up the game. The Burninator. All right, well, our, our deck doesn't do much better than that. Turn two, Thought Erasure. And then Tonebound Lich, then Soren, then Bond Revival win the game. Doesn't do much better than that. Yeah, they're just trying to... Just trying to keep the inn, you know, the Edgewall innkeepers. They're just, you know, hanging out in their in their countryside inns, and Dracky Seth going burninating that countryside, including all of the inns. <laughs> yep, need a new streaming machine. Yep, we'll be get, getting that tomorrow. All right, Storm. Have a good night. Hope you feel better. <laughs> yep, I do. What else you got over here? Another Mayhem Devil? Didn't I already take that one? That was a good wall of lost thoughts. We got four spells because I need to draw another land. 
So that worked out pretty well. Still not draw land. Yeah, I know there are ways away from the the Great Henge, but I f I felt like the Great Henge would have the ability to maybe kill me. If I had Bond Revival in my hand, I would not have I would not have taken the Great Henge. I would have taken Mayhem Devil. If I knew I was going to have Bond Revival. <laughs> yeah, we're about to agent and then quasi duplicate agent. We got to get another land though. Missing that land drop really hurt. There we go. Get to the Legion's End Cauldron Familiar. Steal Mayhem Devil. Alright, so what do they got? Trailer crumbs. One damage. Take one. Um, I'm not sure if, yeah, I would assume they're playing Goose as well. I the Grazer is definitely surprising. The Grazers were not good. Maybe maybe they didn't have the wild cards for Goose, and so they played Grazer instead. I don't know. The Goose does kind of look unnecessary there. Or, sorry, the Grazer does. Yeah, but Ken, we were going to play Kenrith, but Kenrith costs, it costs five mana to cast and then five mana to reanimate. So we weren't going to be able to reanimate right away. You see a lot of aggro and best of one, so I was hoping the Legion's End would be good. And it looks like it will be. Golgari Adventure. I hope to play Edgewell Innkeeper here. Darn. Hmm. 
So kind of assuming they're going to play... Yep, going to play the... Ooh, they're drawing a card. Okay, I thought they were going to play the other beast and then just play this as a 1-1. One -one. Oh, come on. Ugh, I guess we take this. Um... Yeah, I mean, Blood for Bones is just a great card, so should be keeping that. I really wanted to take the the Vivian, but I guess we don't. I don't know. Maybe I should have just taken the Vivian. Because Vivian's just going to be able to minus five now. With the wild. This will be fun to watch. They probably have a 1-1 one, one in there. In their sideboard, right? Probably. Does this thing have defender? Okay, it does. We're fit enough to survive. All right, so this is what this is what we do. Blood for bones. Do I have a creature in my sideboard? Masker girl, Cavalier of Night. Deputy. Nature's always got my back. And then we bring an Agent of Treachery. I was going to steal the Lovestruck Beast, not not the Rotting Registor, even though Registor could attack us. I was going to take the 7-7 seven, because seven, I didn't want to discard cards to the 7-6, seven, so we're going to take the 7-7. Seven, seven. And then, yeah, I was going to be able to just, you know, like, re-sacrifice the Charming Prince to put it back into the graveyard and destroy something else with the Cavalier of Night. So that was pretty. That was a pretty awesome turn. That's what Blood for Bones, six mana. <laughs> yeah, no one ever sideboards with stealing Vivian in mind, right? We did. I mean, I guess. I guess technically we should have a better. We could have a better sideboard for 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 best of one for this for just creatures for stealing Vivian in mind, but oh well. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, Charming Prince with Agent of Treachery. That's just... That's a great combination for six mana that you saw there. Great combination. Yeah, Charming Prince is maybe my favorite card from Throne of Eldraine. I love that card. Hmm... I mean, Soren gives life link, but we need land. I don't, I don't understand white. 
Uh, what? I don't understand your just your statement in general. Lacking what? Oh no, that was a bunch of lands. Okay, I guess we got two spells and then two lands, but we need land. Oh, lagging, yes, yes. No, I, I know the lag problem's really bad. This is the last stream, today's the last stream with this computer. I'm getting the last part that I need for a new computer tomorrow. I have everything except for the case. So we're getting the case tomorrow. Because it got delayed, I should have had it before. And then, Hopefully Wednesday we should have no lag problems. Hopefully. But I know, I, I just can't really do anything about it right now. Well, that's a pretty shocking turn of events there. I thought they were going to play the skewer, but they shocked me. No, I had to land on top. Um, no, I guess I'm not exactly sure if Underwunk. Oh, what is that thing? What is that thing? Alright, Mono Red got us. That's gonna happen whenever you're the reanimate deck. And you miss land drops. You're gonna lose to Mono Red. It happens. That's gonna happen. Yeah, I I think it's all PC related. I don't think it's bandwidth problems. I did just replace my router and modem. Um I'm paying for like for good enough internet service. Like I'm I usually get like 200 down 200 whatever download and like 30 upload. I wish I got more than that upload, but That's that's the package. So I'm so I can't guarantee it'll all work with the new computer, but I'm sure hoping so. All right, Jeskai fires. This is a good deck to steal their stuff. Hopefully, we find a good reanimate target to put in the graveyard here. I should probably take the Teferi so they don't... So if we steal something, they don't just put it back in their hand. Oh, that was a great draw. Ugh. And I'm not getting anything over here but lands. I mean, that's that's all... That's all I could get right on with skin. upload. Nothing. 
Man, I've I got nothing to put stuff in the graveyard this game. Those are two really good draws for them, Bone Crusher Giant and it's a fairy. Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> and then fires? Those are three really good draws. Come on. We've just drawn bricks. Crazy. We're we're dead this turn with Cavalier, we're taking lethal. Wow, we drew absolutely nothing, and my opponent drew pretty perfectly. That's magic. That'll happen. All right, so this is, um, we get the other part of Charming Prince here with the Scry, so, you know, we can help set up our draw steps. So we do need more land. I'll take this Godless Shrine. Hey, Kobo. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Ugh. All right. Well, I need a way to get this into the graveyard. We'll take an Agent of Treachery for our next draw, and then we need to find some way to get in the graveyard. We need to find, like, a, um, uh, the 1-3 that draws and the discards. Take that card. Alright. We'll put these both down to the bottom. So of course we do need a fifth land for Bond Revival, but you know we need other things first, and we'll probably draw another land anyway. Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. Ugh. Want me to phase you out of time? Definitely thinking about just bringing back Charming Prince to Scry. But then I'll, I'll regret that, though. Well, doesn't get any better from our opponent's perspective. Turn 3, Clarion. Turn four fires plus to fairy. Turn five attack for fifteen. Does not get any better. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. We're running into some really, really hot opponents here. Three of them in a row. There's not too much to do about it. I could mulligan. It's about the only thing I could have done there. Um, I kept, you know, the triple, you know, the, the six scries, but still didn't do anything. Okay, Tonebound Lich this time, but we don't have any, don't have any big things. Hopefully, 
hopefully Legion's End's good against our opponent. Like, hopefully we're not playing against Jeskai Fires again. Engine Zen's not a terrible card in standard. Cauldron Familiar is like one of the very best creatures in standard. And then of course you have like Edgewall Innkeeper, Paradise Druid's kinda everywhere. You know obviously you don't get Paradise Druid right away. There's a lot of good stuff to do with Legion Zen. I say it as I discard it. All right, so just two cards. All right, so now the hope is that they don't have another counter spell for the blood, blood for bones. That's why you know I'm throwing that out there. This is a good sign for not having a counter spell for blood for bones. Be wary of the ground you walk on. We got a GG. So basically what was gonna happen, I was gonna I was gonna grab the Charming Prince, of course, but then just like we did before on turn six, we we're gonna steal the Nyssa, have Nyssa untap a land, and then I was gonna Charming Prince flicker the the Agent of Treachery, and then I guess take their breeding pool, I guess. Alright, well these games have gone super fast. We can play two more. We'll go 9 instead of 7 because of how fast these games have gone. It's just been 34 minutes. This is just kind of an, an all-in deck. You know, do we agent a treachery or not kind of thing. All right, hopefully Legion's End's good. Yay, Legion's End is good. That was kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to take both Black Lance Paragons. Dang. Land? No land. 
need that land drop. It's basically which one do I want to kill and which one do I want to steal. And I, I don't think I I don't think I want them drawing more cards with Stormfist Crusader. Because I already have like a I already got like the rest of my turns lined up here pretty well. Jeez. I guess I could just start taking their lands. I was going to take a land. I was going to take the, the tournament grounds. Took me just a minute to, you know, really think about it. Of like, you know, basically, like, they draw... Like, I was thinking, like, if I take land, they draw land, they Ember Cleave. Like, am I still good if they, you know, equip Ember Cleave over here? Or if they, if they have Fervent Champion, where they play Fervent Champion and then get to equip for zero. Um, you know, just some other things to think about of, like, how I was going to be losing that. Because, you know, we're... Of course, in a good spot. And so, like, did it, do I need to take Worthy Knight um, to make you know, like, basically, that's that's kind of what I was thinking of there. But that'll do. Yeah. 
Hey, I gotta take all the red lands so we can hard cast Seth. <laughs> we've we've done that before with this deck. I think we did that against I think I did that against Mono Red. Yeah, we did that with mono, against Mono Red. Yuck. That's a bunch of yuck. Um, yes, you can take an equipped Ember Cleave with Agent of Treachery, but the equipment doesn't fall off, so you just kind of gain control of their equipment, but it stays on the creature. So it's not the most effective. So we saw one of our reanimation spells. Second like reanimation spell. We want to mill over the big things, not the reanimation spells. We want to draw the reanimation re spells. Yeah, but once you once you control the equipment, they can't re-equip because they can't. Yeah, they cannot move an equipment you control. Looks like they drew another command the Dreadhorde. If they're searching through my graveyard, and so that's why they attacked. They want me to block. They can mill me for 16 if they want to try to mill me out. Um. Hey, Samantha. No, all the good spells. Oh, so many good spells. Blood for Bones, Midnight Reaper, Soren, Tonebound Lynch. All right, so we went five and four. 
Not too bad there. All right, hey, no problem, Gamefire Studios. Thank you so much for that big tier three sub yet again. I really, really appreciate it. All these awesome months, 29 months, Campfire Studios. You are the best. Thank you, thank you. All right, so um, Esper Reanimator. Uh, yeah, we went five and four. Um, you know, positive record, but basic, you know, basically 500, which playing a janky combo deck like we are, that's about all we really want. You know, have some fun, play 500. That's good. I like it. Um, Legion's End did underperform a little bit. I guess at times it did, but other times, like when we played against the red black deck, it was it was awesome. So I, I can't really say that it always underperformed for us. Um, sometimes we struggle getting cards in the graveyard, even though we have like the four wall of lost thoughts and the tome bound liches and the thought erasure to get get stuff in there. But sometimes we didn't have those cards. If we don't have those cards, we're going to struggle getting cards in the graveyard. Um, but yeah, we got to Dracu Seth once. We got an agent, agent of Treachery a bunch. Some good, fun magic here with this deck. All right, so that's Esper Reanimator in Best of One. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave some comments. I'd appreciate both of those. But thanks for watching some Esper Reanimator, and I'll see you for the next video.